So not as much progress in this one as we made the last few nights. There was a lot more to taking that wall and it's we're going to finish it off tomorrow. It's about one in the morning here and I still have to edit yet. But um, I'll tell you what, it's kind of starting to look like the original vision of this place was. It's, it's funny, I, I get, I make a lot of plans for what I plan on doing, what the future is going to be. And you can only plan so much because I found that anytime I make plans, they change. Now, my interests usually stay the same, but I'm constantly evaluating in myself, well, what's the better course of action for me moving forward? What makes more sense for what I'm doing here and what I'm trying to accomplish? And we've talked about this on many videos as far as what the plans are, what I want to get into and how I want to do it. There's a definite purpose and a definite vision there, but sometimes I get stuck in this have to do it all mentality. You know, like the upstairs is a wood shop and timber shop, and down here is the forge and metal shop and tractor repair and yada, yada, yada. And, and I'm finding that I have this big building and I'm filling it up with garbage and junk and stuff I don't need. And I'm making piss poor decisions on layout and just the flow of things because I've buried myself. Well, in the process of that burying, you go to get things done and it makes it harder, makes it slower. It's not as enjoyable. So I've had questions I mentioned not too long ago. We're going to be doing some more timber framing stuff, and we are. But that's kind of on the back burner. I'm trying to focus on actually getting just one thing set it up, or set up, English, Working on getting one thing set up and running with it so I can get it going, get it off the ground, generate some more revenue to do the other things I want to do. I still plan to add on to this house with a timber frame. I still plan on doing a few more things. We're going to need a sawmill building of some sort, whether it's lean-to off the side, whether it's a separate thing. But believe me, anything like that I end up building is going to be a timber frame because I really love doing it. And you have to love it to do it. Otherwise, it makes no sense to do it. But I also love making tools. I love fabricating tools to use, like our forge press and things like that. I love the blacksmithing. I love the sound of the anvil. There's just a lot of different things I'm really into. But I'm always, like I said, evaluating what makes the most sense for what my plans are moving forward. What I would like to do, I'm, I'm developing my own line of timber framing tools. And I'm constantly, I'm actually writing things down and pricing out steels and things like that. And um, <clears throat> long story short, the next time we do a timber frame, I want to cut it using all the tools that I've made. I don't want to use anybody else's tools, whether it's slicks, chisels, what have you. I want to make my own and use those. So that's what we're working towards that way. Plus, it makes it a little easier to market things like that if people can actually see you using those tools, doing the work, and see that they work well. And I've come to know what I like in those tools and what I don't like in them. So that's where we're at. That's why we're doing all this. Now, I mentioned the last few videos. Walling that off was a mistake. It turned it right into the little shop that I despised working out of. Dingy, dirty, cluttered, nasty. And it just kind of, it takes away from this whole, the whole feeling of being in this building with the big timbers and all that. It closed it off and I just was not happy with it. Now that I see these coming down, and I know I'm going to wall off the one side, I'm turning around behind me and I'm seeing the timbers, the dark timbers from the weathering we had because it took so long to build it against the fresh wood on the inside. And I, I just thinking, I love that, where the braces come together to form that post on the outside under the scarf joint. I love being able to see that. And the way I was going, I wasn't going to be able to see any of that. And to me, moving forward, that's part of your, your creative process. You have to be in an environment that suits what gets you going. If you walk into your space and you can't move around and you can't think because you're so distracted by all the other stuff, like we are here, 
it makes it really hard to create and to do and a lot of people run into that some people it just doesn't bother and that's if you had that ability that is wonderful but for me it's such a distraction I'm trying to work out of it the old habits are so hard to break when you've been that way your whole life and I'm really kind of I'm looking forward to seeing if it changes how I work at all, if it changes anything that way, because that will be very interesting. But um, for me, as I see it opening up again, and I have the footprint in my mind of what we're going to do, as I'm thinking about where are we going to set certain tools up that makes the most sense, I'm much happier with this. Much, much happier. So tomorrow's video, we will be getting the rest of those out. We have this big pile of hemlock to move. That's gonna be awesome. I think what I'm gonna do, put some hinges on that back door, on the man door there, just haul stuff out, stack it outside, get it under a tarp because these are actually gonna be corral boards. Um, viewer asked me, he says, it sounds like you're getting out of beef. Why are you building a corral? Well, I'm always gonna have something here. I'm always gonna be raising meat to eat especially uh, it makes more sense to do that nowadays more than ever but I don't need the numbers that I have but when you have livestock like that just letting them run in a pasture all the time and having no place to where you can catch them if you do have to sell any if you do have to move any you have to separate out a sick one or a calf or something like that hard to do that if you don't have something like a corral so we have to get that built here really soon but uh, as for right now, I just want to get this stuff done first. But um, probably what I'll be doing soon, we'll probably do a video answering some of the most asked questions that I've had. We haven't done a Q&A. I don't know when the last time we do, have done a Q&A. It's been a long, long time. So I think we're definitely due for one of those. So if you guys have any questions you want answered, Throw them in the comments, and we will do our best to answer them here maybe within the next week or so. So that's where we are. So hopefully the next video we have a little more progress. Uh, some of these are going to be big jumps in progress. Some of them are going to be a little bit slower. Tonight was a little bit slower just because we had so much stuff to move and deal with. And I can tell you it's going to be a chore hoeing out, but I'm looking around at... A lot of stuff that's not going to make the cut, I can tell you that. A lot of stuff that's going in the truck and going to go to a dumpster. Because uh, I am just kind of tired of being buried. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We're going to keep going with the daily uploads as much as I physically can. So I will catch you guys on the next one.